Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday Live. My name is Ashley Hay. I'm a mixed media artist. And today we have Natalie Parrish from Bag End Studio in Yeringapilly in Queensland here live in this, well, not here live in the studio. She is at Bag End and I'm across the country in WA at Powertex. And, um, but we're going to be talking today about um, her exhibition, performance space, and the possibilities for artists exhibiting and running workshops there. So um, Damien McAleer has a uh, solo exhibition coming up this weekend, opening this weekend, and we're going to talk a little bit about that and see, get a sneaky peek of some of the artwork. Natalie, welcome, welcome. It's wonderful to see you again and really looking forward to having a chat and showcasing not only Damien McAleer's artwork, but also, um, of course, having a look at what's going on with Powertex in Queensland. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> It is. So tell us about Damien McAleer's exhibition and how it came about. So what was the collaboration and um, what happened there and what can we expect if um, people are going to have a look? Okay, so um, since I've opened the gallery, um, you had to realise as an artist you've got to diversify and where you get your networks, you know, try and um, jump on the networks that you have. Uh, and so I met Damien through Creative Generation because both of our kids were involved in Creative Generation and he kept posting up artwork and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Um, and I noticed <laughs> that he also entered the Doyle Award um, this year and he became a finalist in that. And, and I was like, why are you not exhibiting? So anyway, he came <laughs> in while they were down from Toowoomba and checked out the space and said, yeah, I'd love to do an exhibition. Um, so he's a manual arts teacher. Uh, it works up in a high school in Toowoomba, uh, but on, oh, yeah. but <laughs> um, in his spare time, which I'm not sure how that even occurs, um, he does these um, amazing artworks um, with acrylics mostly. Um, yeah, uh, and they're very bold. They're very expressive. Uh, I have about 20 of them here, and there's still another 20 to come. I'm not quite sure where they're all going to go yet, but we will work that out. <laughs> Awesome. So uh, Damien's solo exhibition, the official opening is tomorrow night. What time is that opening, Natalie, tomorrow night? It's opening at 7 um, p.m. He's going to be here in the morning um, stringing up some of his artworks because that still needs to be done. And then he's going to set up an area where he'll paint. So he'll be here all weekend painting live. Fantastic. Um, so people yeah. can actually go in and meet the artist and... Um, yeah. then hang around for um, the official opening at seven o'clock. That sounds a bit exciting. I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing the winter warmers because we, um, I'm not yet, uh, I don't have a license. So we're going to do hot chocolates and tea and coffee and there'll be food oh, to eat. And, yeah, so it should be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to see him in action as well because he's, if, once we have a look at some of the work that he does just quickly, you'll see he's very bold and expressive. And he said, I'm not unknown to sometimes use two hands. And literally <laughs> this has been about six weeks and in six weeks he's done 40 paintings pretty much. So, um, wow, yeah, that's prolific. Yeah, yes. So, <laughs> very exciting. What um, have did I done you... the last six weeks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we, I oh, know this year has flown, hasn't it? Mm. Um, we were yep. just talking about that beforehand, just how quickly this year has actually seemed to go. So Natalie, did you want to show us around and let's have yes. a sneaky peek at what people can expect this weekend when they come out to the bag at Yeringapilly in Queensland and um, come and say hello to you all. So let's take a look. Okay, I'll just flick the camera around. Okay. So as part of the collaboration or the, the how things came about was um, because he's a manual arts teacher, he was telling me about how he could build walls and once I realised I was going to get you know, more than 20 paintings. Um, where am I going <laughs> to hang these things? Yeah. Uh, he said, oh, I'll just make some extra walls. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so he did. Um, yeah. So then I've just been playing with it this week because uh, last week it was pretty much empty in here. So, um, yeah, I've decided to go for 
a bit of a feel. There's Ted in the corner over there. I'm going for a feel of like little mini IKEA rooms because I thought I they'd be I love kind of it. Cute. They um they are really like little sets. Like I could almost see myself going in there and sitting and reading an art book or like look at that beautiful red chair. That would go well with my red hat. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the last couple of weeks I scored some cheap shop fitting bits from mm. uh, a group called Scattered Arts who I'm also hoping to collaborate with more because they're part of Excellent. the visual arts community here. Um, yeah, so we've got like a beautiful hutch. And to try and keep in with my theme of making everything mobile, um, Michelle has managed to get her partner to come in and put things on wheels. And we put the walls, Conrad put felt on the floor, on the, the feet of the walls so that we, I can move them. Because if you're going to, yeah. yeah, but if, if you're going to run it, if I'm here by myself a lot, then how do I move something on my own? Sure. Um, is part of my bigger plan. Yeah. yeah. So we go to the, so, I'll take so a step we, back because I want to show the other walls are still here. So too. you've got, uh, how many of those little Ikea rooms have you got? Are there three of those, Natalie? Do you want to just show us yes. those little well, three rooms quickly? So you've got the, the one with the red chair. Three, but I can make something else out of That's that That's nice. There. So with the sort of glass cabinet, that would be nice for someone yep. who wants to exhibit some sculptural works and jewellery. That's right. And I can take the shelves in and out. One doesn't yep. have a door. I have a spare door. But I realise I can use glass cabinets as not yep. just for jewellery. Yep. Um, yes, and then coming down this the way. The little red chair room, which is nice. Yep. You've and got of course some nice artworks in there. Yeah, and it doesn't have to stay, you know, the little red chair. If you've got other bits you want to put in, you can yeah. put that in. Um, I'm still waiting for Damien to string them. He's been so busy painting that he's forgotten <laughs> to string them. Um, that was my herding cats joke with paint dealing with artists is like herding cats because you get so creative <laughs> that yeah who wants to deal with the back of the painting right <laughs> that's it it's done it's finished i'm over it yep uh, on yes. to the next one so and he is very it. prolific isn't he yeah yeah and it, it's a you know it's a bit of a blokey style like kind of like that in like that's just gorgeous i love that one um but you know cars and but he also does um you know other he's quite diverse Mm, uh, fantastic. Work. So he's even got the scary one with the reflecting one with rats down the bottom. That's called Intruder. I like the one with the blue. Yeah, that blue portrait. Yeah, it's like style. it's really, it's really of, interesting. Out of sync with some of his other. Like you can't you can't pinpoint him to one subject style. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really very very interesting. And Excellent. of course, I've still got each of these individual white walls, um, one metre walls, um, one metre wide walls, I should say, that can also, they're still waiting for his other artworks to come down. So Natalie, if someone else wants to have an exhibition at Bag End Studios in Yaringapilly, they just contact you. So of course, your Bag End Studio workshops and Powtex training on Facebook and um, also have the website it's all we'll put those details up so if you do want to connect with Natalie that's um, where you go bagginstudio.net and you will find all her contact details on her pages so connect with her say what your idea is if you've got a big crazy art idea then contact her because um, we were talking about this earlier weren't we Natalie so mm -hmm. how you collaborate and your ethos around that. Did you want to say a little bit about that? Well, last weekend, and I'm not allowed to show photos because it's not <laughs> finished yet and I'm waiting for the music video clip to be completed. Um, but to paint in, oh, they weren't painting. They were filming in the studio. So everything here that you see now was all pushed to the back and we used Amazing. the wall to, to, to cover from up the top there with plastic and the whole this whole area was covered in plastic and they had a, a heavy metal artist in here that was head banging with a head full of paint wow. um, and to create this picture uh, so i'm hoping that the kids come back and um, do their showing here when they finish their uh, clip um yeah so that was kind of uh it was well <laughs> it's michelle 
campaign, who I always refer to as one of my ideas people, said, look, sometimes you just got to Richard Branson it and say yes and figure <laughs> it out later. Um, that, so, that's yeah, awesome. Michelle, yeah, Michelle came in and looked after them and made sure that we did because if we get paint on these walls, I was in trouble. So it was a bit scary and it was a big risk. But, um, yeah, they did it. They got they had to get a scissor lift in to get the plastic up. They did use my walls so they could drape off the walls and contain this big mm-hmm. square here. They were all covered in uh, full suited ponchos, which was hysterical. Um, but then because we had to help them out, you know, they're young kids, really. They didn't have cars and uh, people caught trains to get here with their equipment. Um, <laughs> so in return for the favours given, uh, they used their scissor lift to make uh, help me make my fake chandeliers. I love them. So that is yeah. absolutely brainchild, Natalie. So you can hang... Um, artworks off of those and really create um, a really beautiful installation from them. Yes, I'm sure Michelle's got a few ideas already. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It should hold about 200 kilograms each of those um, swings. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah, they're one ton on the strap, so we're pretty good to go with the strap. Um, Yeah, but, you know, like there's obviously a few uh, mannequin ideas (laughs) could be put in that place there. Um, The other thing I have too is for people with sculptural works is plinths. So we have lots of uh, plinths. We had to put all the power techs to one side um, as part of that process of last weekend. Um, Yeah, so it's been a huge transformation in a week, basically moving everything back out into a gallery. Absolutely. So the music video just sounded amazing. And so I can't wait to see the reveal of that and um, I'm sure that when that happens that you'll be going live and sharing that with us so um, pretty exciting and I got a bit of a sneaky peek of some of those um, things that you've been talking about in terms of how you've done it so it just looked like it was absolutely amazing and what amazes me Natalie is how you can really transform your space and how that Mm. has actually been a really important aspect of how you've designed the walls so that you can move everything out so that if anyone has an idea like the um, musicians did then you can actually my goodness, I can't imagine how much work it must have been to move everything um, for for that to happen. But um, how fantastic and how agile are you? Uh, Loving the casters now. So (laughs) even the shop, you know, like we've managed to get all that, I can just push around. So I had a customer come in um, when everything was all pushed in. So all this was all pushed into this little space here, which is the shop the little power tech shop in here yeah so i had to then be able to like push these things away and push them all around so that some people could get in and still shop <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah. but it is amazing it's those craft shows isn't it like the craft show teaches you how to try and put as much stuff into a small amount of space as you possibly can. (laughs) Absolutely. You've done so well. And, of course, the Brisbane Craft and Quilt Show is coming up. So that is happening on the 12th and uh, Wednesday, the 12th to the Sunday, the 16th of October. And tickets Mm -hmm. are now on sale. And I believe you've started your planning for that with the Down the Rabbit Hole Girls. Yes, so fortunately, um, Gaynor and uh, especially Gaynor, Gaynor started getting a bit worried about our timing. (laughs) So she turned up last week to go, okay, really need to get going. Um, And Michelle's been playing with some ideas as well. Plus we did the Gold Coast show last year. So we, one of the things with the, the craft shows is the, it's, you only get 45 minutes. And so as much as we love uh, dry brushing, um, we kind of seem to run out of, time so michelle's been trying to come up with some ideas this week about how we could speed up the coloring process Um, and now now that we've got um the lovely power colors it's like how can we do that because of course the power colors uh you need a medium to stick um Uh, you mean the liquid powers liquid powers sorry yep yep the liquid powers so if we can do stuff while it's wet to our advantage um yeah so michelle's been playing with the power colors Ah, beautiful 
Li so can... Liquid powers. <laughs> liquid powers. What am I saying? <laughs> the power colours. So the power oh. colours, of course, are the matte Sorry, pigments, yep. which we've Sorry. had for a long time. But, yep. um, yeah, the vibrancy of those liquid powers is just gorgeous. And like you say, because you can actually um, put it on um, wet, it really can speed things up. Yeah, but it does need still that highlighting, which you normally get through dry brushing. So with Michelle's painting background, we've been trialling a, she's trying a few different ways of um, trying to suspend the mica pigments into different mixtures so that we can highlight with a spray, which is obviously going to be tricky because you've got to keep your sprays clean, but we're also figuring out new ways to spray and clean at the same time. So one of the things that I do, and you actually don't use as much liquid power, actually, is I um, put a little bit of ivory Powtex or transparent Powtex on my palette, spray mm -hmm. the slightest amount of um, liquid powers and actually mix it into the Powtex and then paint it on. Um, oh. And that is very, very economical. So, um, and you still get that beautiful vibrancy of colour, which is just gorgeous. Okay, well, we might try mm. that too. Yeah. Yeah. But in, in and then, of one, course, you can still also mix your micas and also your um, power colours and colour tricks in with that mixture as well. So it works really well. Yeah. So that's what she's trying to do. Yeah, nice. Like there. So that's your rich gold. Beautiful. Um, she's just, yeah, we, she's nearly there. We're just getting a new mm. mixture made up so that um, you can spray definitely with your mica powders getting some interesting effects as well with the mica powders that i want to try and uh, bring out oh, which one is it oh it's down here like when you get um yeah see yeah beautiful oh, uh, nice they yeah. are just gorgeous so yeah. really really nice yeah. i love the turtle and i believe you're going to put all those elements together in layers and Yes. Um, yeah. So um, I'm sure once you've got that all resolved, we'll see more. But they mm. are just looking brilliant. So this is the sort of thing that people can expect. So the mermaid, would that be more of a special two-hour class or would that be one Whoa. of the make and takes? This is the, going to be the challenge. We're going to see if we can <laughs> get it done in 45 minutes Wow! Um, because we can spray. So we don't awesome. have to wait for anything to dry. So we think... Yeah, we'll test it but, out on a couple of the rabbit holers next week, see how fast they can go. Um, yeah, and we'll, I, yeah, we're going to try be that. Able to, and you'll be able to um, get those make and takes with those beautiful mermaids. How amazing would that be? Yeah, yeah. So the turtle what a beautiful is make and be, take. The turtles um, or the, the animals are going to be inside an embroidery hoop, like a porthole. Oh, wonderful. Uh, that's the idea for that. The two-hour workshop that we are getting this year, we haven't fully decided on yet. Um, yep. Yeah, we might do something more with stone art, we're thinking, um, Ooh, or a lovely. fairy door. We're looking at a fairy door. <gasps> Fantastic. That could, that could be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, awesome. basically what we're also then going to try to do from that is um, because I've been focusing so hard on the gallery and getting the rent paid, um, with other people's <laughs> workshops, um, which has been great because there's so many great collaborations coming out of that. You've, you've had Power such diversity that. in uh, your workshops that you've been offering, which has been just brilliant. And, of course, you are still bringing the Powertex workshops in there too, um, which is uh, fantastic. But I'm loving how you're calling the space the bag. And oh, yeah. um, <laughs> it's just brilliant. Love what's it. in the bag <laughs> <laughs> what's in the bag what's happening at in the bag uh this yeah. weekend so that's just awesome now i know natalie that you have got a um fairy and angel workshop coming up on saturday the 20th of august for those who live in queensland um and i know your fairies and angels are just absolutely amazing so um oh, yes that i am is... hoping we might get to <laughs> finish this one up here as you do there's lots of ufos lying around here can't really see her properly she's a little bit oh hard you to don't see. really want to see her i don't have it i i have sold all my good ones <laughs> um i've still got her uh going as well 
yeah. But you Look basically at that witch. That, <laughs> oh, the witch is great, isn't she? Yeah. So that's that's a, a new version of the Lady in Rags. Brilliant. Basically, I love it. Yeah. That will be a popular one for Halloween, I'm sure. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, yes, and then I have that's followed by a gnome class. And I'm trying to get a sumo class together because there's a couple of people have requested the sumo class. Um, yep. And I have a couple of people booked in for a gnome class during the week. They are just so gorgeous. I love those. Yeah, so, me too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the work that comes out mm -hmm. of there. And um, did you want yeah. to flick the camera back onto you yep. and um, be nice to see you again? <laughs> Come Hello. back to my <laughs> yeah. good lighting spot. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, so, yeah, you've got lots and lots happening. So I believe there's also um, the Scarecrow Festival coming up in the last oh, yeah. weekend of October and you've got some plans around that. Did you want to have a quick uh, yeah, chat so about coming, what you're thinking? Uh, coming out of the show, I mean, it's been a really difficult year this year for lots of us. Um, so you, we kind of, and because I haven't been doing as much power text as even I want to do, um, and I went to uh, uh, workshops myself on the weekend and I met up with people who'd done a lot of power tech before but haven't been doing it and said, when are you going to do challenges and when are you going to do this? And I was like, oh, yeah, I suppose <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that very often. We kind of just train people to do art, their own art and don't always collaborate um, or do that sort of thing. So I thought, no, we should try and start doing it. So, yeah, I'll... Uh, the Scarecrow one is one for Michelle because um, she, she lives up at Mount Tambourine. So we're thinking we'll try to pull together some Powertex people to uh, bring that idea to fruition. So we have like a, it's a big sculptural item. Um, that should, information about that will be coming out soon. So you can kind of join us to learn how to make large objects out of Powertex or that, you know, that's a, uh, yeah, that's, it's not always how easy. exciting. So <laughs> So is that the one last year where she did the huge um, yes. people that were sitting in the back of the um, uh, yes. The yes, car? Uh, the V-dub. <laughs> the V-dub, yes. the V-dub, yeah. the yeah. yeah. and they were all hanging out and that was great. Yeah. So um, you're going to do something collaboratively on a large scale. So that sounds very exciting. Yeah, so we're going to try and um, get that idea up and running before for the craft show. Um, I'm not sure we'll get it done before the craft show. To, uh, yeah, but we may, yeah, we may, it may be after the craft show so we can invite some other people um, along to who might want to participate in that. Um, and then also the, the exhibition that we, idea we've got coming up in November, um, which we haven't fully worked out yet, but that will be another <laughs> live. Um, we know what we're going to do and what we're going to ask people to do. We just haven't brought it all together. Um, but yeah, we wanted to try and do some more power text challenges that then lead to an exhibition because I have an exhibition space uh, and yeah why not um, use it basically so yeah, absolutely you and I'll text, get your stuff done bring it in um, yeah I've been I've been challenged myself by some uh, regulars to say if you could do a quarterly challenge I'd be in it so I was like oh okay how can we do quarterly challenges so mm. we'll see yeah nice maybe 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 twice a year <laughs> I could see your little IKEA rooms being like if someone didn't want to have a full so um, full mm. solo exhibition. I could see each of those little rooms actually featuring individual artists. So you've got three of those there where you could actually feature three artists mm -hmm. at a time, which would be really wonderful. So anyone who's got um, a body of Powertex work, it's not actually that much to fill one of those little one of those little spaces and make it look amazing. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'd like to sort of see. I because sometimes you don't have a full body of work and um, yeah, I mean, a lot of us suffer imposter syndrome, so this is just sort of a way to, you know, get over doing that. And it might be a private event where you only want friends and families, but it's it's very different once your artwork has left a lounge room or a studio space, um, and then put in a nice context that you suddenly go, oh right, yeah, um, I made that, yeah. Um, and then it might be even nice for family to come along and go, oh, that's what you do. 
yeah. Um, yeah, or not even know that it's yours. So that's why I'm also looking for some collaborative uh, ideas for exhibitions. So they may, you might have family and friends will walk in and not realise that's your artwork until they see it and then they go, oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and how wonderful. I love it. And so you also have some big news for November that you'll be announcing soon. So we'll have to get you back. And of course, we'll be talking a bit more about the um, craft and quilt show as well that is happening yes. in October. And we'll be hearing more details from you in around about a month about what's coming up for that. So that'll be fantastic. Yeah, we, we, we will have the exhibition idea completely ready um, to sign up to because we want people to sign up uh, at the craft show so, so that's going to be part of the idea that you were already there there's a captive crafty audience and yeah try to get people uh, out of um, their studios I suppose all their home studios all their craft rooms and uh, yeah get and Natalie them. I know that um, your exhibition space that you always do for the Brisbane Craft and Quilt Show is always amazing. So it's definitely oh, yeah. <laughs> a um, stand that you want to visit, especially to get all your Powtex bits while the show is on. And it must be brilliant having those craft shows. We haven't had one here in WA for a few years now. So um, yeah. and I'm definitely discovering like um, here either. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely discovering new aisles in Bunnings. <laughs> uh, yes, so I do have an idea for the craft show, how we're going to put the white walls up again. But, yeah. Fantastic. And I love the way that you've sort of um, made all those small spaces. So almost like your space there, that very beautiful large space, you're treating each little area like a mini um, exhibition space like we <laughs> put together for the craft show. So it's awesome. Yeah, wouldn't it be good, though, to have this much space at the exhibition? <laughs> yeah, yeah we need a power tech guild. <laughs> All right, so if you do want to connect with Natalie, there's her details on the screen there. So if you've got any big, crazy art ideas, Natalie will say yes. So <laughs> have, a, have a chat. I do have her. a bad habit of saying yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's awesome, Natalie. Love what you're doing and um, it's a very creative, wonderful space and um, hopefully we have highlighted oh. some of that creativity that's happening. Yes. yes, I did forget. Just before, well, the same week as the craft show, uh, Michelle and I have also entered into the Plant Empire exhibition across the road. Ah. So I have three small pieces, or well, smaller pieces going in and Michelle and I are going to try our first collaboration together um, on a sort of life-size piece. So yes, that's oh, our other really happening. You know, yeah, you yeah. just in case you didn't have enough going on. <laughs> well, I, I haven't been doing loads and loads of Powertex art lately because I've just been sort of caught up on everybody else's stuff. So I put in for the exhibition to force myself back into that artist in residence that I'm meant to be doing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, yes, <laughs> which is starting next week. Um, awesome. Yeah, now I have an exhibition I've got to put stuff into. Um, in somebody else's space, which is also nice to do. Yeah, that's brilliant. All right. Well, that is excellent. And um, thank you so much for joining us today. It's always wonderful to hear what you're doing there in um, the bag and uh, what's coming up and what people can connect with you, how people can connect with you. And, yeah, it's just all very exciting. So I'm really excited for you. Love your space. Love what you do. And, um, of course, if you do want to learn more about Powertex, there is heaps on Natalie's website. So she uh, is bagend uh, studio.net so you can go there and see what's coming up for Queensland and also mm. uh, there's lots of information on there or you can also go to the Powtex website as well of course there's loads of free content everywhere we try and connect with you in so many different ways so one of the things that I've done recently is I've created a series of what is videos so uh, about oh, yeah. the different products and the idea is that those what is videos will help you to understand the different products a little bit make it easier for you and um, be able to create more with Powertech so we want you to um, love it as much as we do because Natalie and I are both 
very passionate about the art supplies from Powertex. We love using them in our artwork, don't we, Nat? Oh, totally. I also have Fridays here. So I was hoping to get more people coming in on Fridays just to hang out, um, and particularly Powertexes because I love that so much, um, and we could be watching the lives together. Oh, nice. While we're nice. power texting. That could be even <laughs> Nice, I like that. Yes, I like I that. I have a long-term goal that one live will be people doing power text. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we have a great group on uh, the Creative Hub, the Power Text Australia Creative Hub on Facebook where you can connect. Mm -hmm. And Natalie also has a Queensland tribe, so if you're in Queensland, you can join that as well. So it's good. It's good to be able to share mm. your artwork to different places. So um, definitely join the groups. And if you're stuck with anything, we really try and help you uh, in these groups too. So um, connect with us. We love to connect. We love to share. And um, we thank you so much for joining us. Now, um, we have had a few comments. I forgot to look at the comments, but oh, I everyone's see. just yeah, sorry. Everyone's just been saying good morning. So Michelle's on with us, and she has said, "Oh, I've got lots of big crazy ideas," <laughs> but she's particularly <laughs> saying, "I've no got idea. a big crazy idea for you, Natalie." So I'm sure she'll. Oh, be... is it a new one already? Oh my god, <laughs> what the, what number are we up to now? We've been through the alphabet, so we're like now on you know Z three. <laughs> Lovely. And Cheryl and Robin are also listening in. So thank you so much for joining us, everybody. I know a lot of you watch in replay. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching Natalie in her studio today. I know I've loved having a chat with you, Nat. It's always absolutely wonderful to catch up. It definitely was. And I've learnt new things again about filming. So, yay. <laughs> Excellent. That's always a bonus, right? It's always um, a bonus. <laughs> so thanks for joining us, everyone. Progress. Have a wonderful creative weekend. We hope we've inspired you to create and that you embrace your big crazy ideas this weekend and um, have fun. Ciao. Bye.